Hello, welcome guys and welcome back for more uh, Gintama Rumble Viewer discretion I have a lot of anak buah right now so expect some crying But anyways uh, I don't know if it was called as viewer discretion But just a warning So I hope you guys look forward to th for this uh, For this video And let's get this Game on Alright guys, we have already finished the uh, side stories for Baragaki and also uh, Kabukicho for Devas Arc And let's continue on the Nation's Curson or Curson of, of Nation Arc One of my favorite and, got, and I have to say the opening and ending for this uh, arc is also beautiful And you know, the yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it later. So let's get this. Ah, uh, this is uh, very, this kind of shot for for an arc. Just three. Oh, I don't know how many parts. But let's see this. Curtis's re reversal. Okay. あの月が憎い。月は夜と一緒にあなたを連れてきてくれるけど、朝と一緒にあなたをさらってしまうから、このまま きっと今度は朝と一緒に君をここから去ろうだろう。次の満月の晩、一本桜の前で待っていてくれ。約束でございますよ。約束だ。来た。国を傾けるビキ。形成の異名を持つ伝説の花魁スズランダユ吉原の救世主に会いたいと彼女に呼び出された銀時は張り切るしかしスズランはすでに年老いた老婆であった互いの髪の毛を指に結び愛を誓い合う真珠立て老いたスズランの指には誰かの髪の毛が結ばれていた遠い昔一緒に吉原を抜け出そうと約束したのだというその男を待ってかスズランは吉原を出ることなく生を終えようとしていたみんなそれが人よだけの仮初めの夢と分
警備を引き剥がすため城内で缶蹴りを始める銀時たちそしてさださだにあった銀時は彼がスズランを性的な暗殺に利用していたと知る彼は彼女を利用したんです文字通り形勢を国崩しの道具としてそんな男が秘密を知る道具を外に連れ出すとでもあったとしてもそれは奇弁道具の心をつなぎ止めておくためのただの呪いです今の要人の暗殺も幕府内の派閥争いでさださだの仕業だと見る伊三郎見回り組は警備を名目にさださだのことを見張っていたのだしかしその存在を邪魔に思ったさださだにより伊三郎は刺されてしまうそして銀時たちは幕臣暗殺と伊三郎の殺害犯にされ捕らえられる賊の侵入を許した責任を問われ見回り組は殿中守護の任を解任されたおかげで俺たちは奴らの後任に預かれたってわけさだがどうにもくせえ何かを揉みつぶそうとしてるようにしか思えねえ見張りの新選組の目を盗み牢獄を訪ねてきたそよ姫彼女は小さい頃ジーヤのロッテン埋蔵から聞かされた寝物語を話す昔昔あるところに殿様とその家来がいましたこの殿様の奥方は国一番の美しい姫でとっても殿様を大切にしていましたでも殿様は姫のそんな気持ちを利用し彼女を牢獄に入れひどいことばかりをやらせていたのですだから姫様は毎日牢獄で泣いていましたそんな姫様が哀れで家来はいつも姫様の涙を拭いてあげていたのですそういつからか彼は姫様に恋心を抱いていたのですしかしスズランを始末しろ逆らえば命はないでも愛する人を殺めることなどできない代わりに二人は約束したのです一緒にここから逃げ出そう次の満月の晩あなたをさらいに来るそうして二人は指切り玄万を交わしましたでも彼が来ることはありませんでした殿様は全てを知っていたからですスズランは一体いつまでお前を待っているのだろうな約束などとうの昔に捨てた男を会えば姫様を殺す二人の約束は死よりも重い鎖に変わりましただから彼は決めたのですたとえ何度月が通り過ぎようともたとえシワだらけの醜い老人になろうともたとえ姫様が彼を忘れていようとも彼女と会える日まで生き続けようとそうして彼は今も3本の足で這いつくばりながら生きているのですスズランが約束した相手が。本当は誰だったのかを知った銀時たち新選組の手引きで牢を抜け出した彼らはさださだのもとへと向かうのだった Yes,、yeah, so you know this I really like this uh what do you call this uh, this arc because uh You know this、uh, at least you know、uh, the background of this arc is has a lot to do with in Tokyo's past and you know let's talk about the the you know the story 
you know it's almost like romance but it's not a, exactly a happy romance you know you know Gintama is very good I can say oh, everything even when it comes to romance you know I'm, to I'm not talking about romance like sex or what but I'm just talking about saying like uh, you love somebody something like that just just love about love oh so, when it comes to romance Gintama really it's, <laughs> it's a really weird way but it's still uh, beautiful just like in this uh, arc so there's there's two men there's two cup there's two people the man and the woman the woman is a person the while the the man is yeah uh, let's say something like a uh, a retainer for the shogun so you can say shogun is like almost like a king almost at least that's that's, that's their term they call as they call themselves shogun and so this and then this man is uh is the shogun's retainer it's almost like a helper assistant something like that and they this guy fall in fell in love with the woman and that's how they they that's how they were that's how that's that's, that's how they love each other and also an in, in, interesting fact about this up is that so these two they like they pluck out a strand of hair and they will tie it up to their pinky fingers it's some it's like so you no know, in i think and you know i think everyone knows that when you you say the you know the pinky swear it's almost like when you you make a promise to somebody so these guys pluck out a hair tie it up to their pinky fingers that's uh let's say uh, it's like they make a pack or they made a promise like that it's, it shows their allegiance something like that or just promise yeah so the five fingers oh yeah i will talk about something interesting about these five fingers やりますかね銀と北地の脱走はすぐに露見し幕府軍が城内を埋め尽くすまさかババア一人のために国鳥合戦仕掛けることになるとはね本当に良いのか吉原のためにヌシラがここまでもう遅えよ約束しちまったからなそうかならば約束じゃんきっと一緒に生きて戻ると約束だきっとジジイと一緒にスズランのもとへ帰る信夢も見回り組の生き残りとして銀と北地に同行するそんな彼らに幕府の軍勢が押し寄せてきた国賊めが全員の子らず討ち取れ女子供も容赦するな女子供 言ってくれるあるあの主にしてこの海ありつくづく女を舐めくさった国ならば止めてみろ主らがあざけた女を守ってみろ女の涙で固めた巨色の城をその名忘れたのならばもう一度知らしめてやろう。形成国崩しに参る。Shimpachi, Kagura, and also Sukuyo, they met. So they also uh, took out some, pluck out some strands, of, some strands of their hair, yes, and they made a promise to each other that they will uh, come back together, come back alive together. You know the interesting fact is that uh, if you watch closely in the previous cutscene, Intoki and uh, I mean Suzuran, the old woman. She met, she met 
he pluck out a strand of her hair and tied it up in uh, Ginto Gintoki's uh, pinky pinky finger. You know, I think she's mistaken him for her for her lover, or actually she just what what Gintoki did is just reminded her of her her lover, and so uh, Gintoki's finger has has been occupied by Suzuran's hair. And after they met the the mate, the the other f the other three met Thomas with Kitoki. So I think somebody pointed out that uh, Tukuyo's finger was tied in in Gitoki's what do you call this ring ring finger? You no, know? I, I find it I find it interesting to see that in, it was Tukuyo's hair in Gitoki's ring finger. So it got me think. Yeah people thinking that it's almost like okay yeah, so just just a point out so Tukuyo's uh, fallen he, he loves Gintoki fell in love with him and you know, the fact that she tied her hair in Gintoki's ring finger is almost like she's met uh, obligation no 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 she's it's like she's she made a promise no, 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 pro no promise. It's something like uh, she just made, she just made a declaration that that uh, she wants to be uh, <laughs> to be Itoki's lover, or you know, or you know, when it comes to ring finger, you always put the ring. So it's like uh, it's, uh, it's talking about wedding, something like that. So it's like she has declared that she wants to become uh, Gintoki's wife. And for Sukuyo's finger, uh, Gintoki, Gintoki's hair was tied up. In Sukuyo's pinky pinky finger. So that's another interesting fact. Uh, it's like uh, she it's like so it's like these two has made has exchanged a promise. Uh, so for Sukuyo, she promises she, it's like it's like some it's, it's, it's just a assumption. It's like she's made a uh, he wants to be Toki's uh, lover or wife for Gintoki. It's like he's made a promise to Tukuyo that he wants like, so it's like, it's like they, they exchange the same uh, promise just a uh, different finger for Gitokis it was his uh, ring finger for Tukuyo it was a uh, uh, ring uh, pinky square yeah, I don't think I have anything to I don't think I have anything to to uh, upgrade let's get this いいか。一歩たりとも仲間から離れんじゃねえぞ。背中を任せて何も考えず、てめえの眼前の敵だけ切り伏せろ。てめえが倒れない限り、誰も倒れやしねえ。一本の刀にはね、壁をぶち抜
Uh oh, that ain't good. Doesn't look good. Okay, so, yeah, 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 interaction was very undynamic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait a minute, man. Oh my god, this. Oh, there you are. How do we destroy these guys? Oh, this is so, so hard. So, Adia, uh, Gintoki san, Gintoki san also. Tukuyo's relationship is very uh, interesting. Like, they're very, di they're very dynamic. You know, their design is very. Somehow, uh, Gintoki's design is almost the same as. It was, she was inspired from in Toki. That's why I really like uh, Gitoki and Kuyo. I really like their design is almost the same. Like the way their clothes is it's almost the same. like there's a uh, it has similarities but also different at the same time. This, this, and this, there's still a lot of moments about uh, Gintoki's and also Gintoki's and Sukuyo's relationship, how it works. But so this is gonna be a lot lot longer than I expected You know, uh, when it comes to Suku, you know, uh, it's, you know, this, uh, Sisuji really made a lot of, uh, Sukuyo's entrance, uh, not entrance, but appearance, very, uh, uh memorable, what I say, uh, just like in this scene, you, you can, 
this has a really lot of lines you can say something like inspirational or really very deep like that uh, she's not really a feminist because she has you know in this Tukuyo from the from her earlier child from her childhood yeah she's uh, giving given up from her womanhood so it's like she declared that she's not a woman but she's not really a feminist that's it right. she really supports women and she doesn't really hate men yeah. she, she has no she's really had no trouble with it. men just I said she's she's really uh really supportive to, towards the woman again she's not feminist and that's like you saw in the cutscene there's a very lot of there's a very lot of lines where she talks about she's, it's very uh, deep and also uh Oh, I won't let you. Another thing about uh, Sukuyo, what is it, eh? Uh, what I was talking about again, eh? I think I was I was oh, I want to talk about Sukuyo, but I just didn't remember what is it, you know? <laughs> so the guess for the weird cut uh, I think you guys might hurt the Azan So let's pay your time, Maghrib So let's continue So as we were talking about I, mean, we were, I think we were talking about uh, Sukuyo I find it really interesting to see that uh, Surachi Tensei uh, decided to include Tukuyo in two of the most uh, serious and also might have to do with the plot The first uh, Yoshiwara in Flames arc and also in this arc At least before the uh, last, at least before the final arc because in the final arc, everyone was it. everyone the the uh, the main characters, major side characters, and the major side characters were involved. Oh. 
Well, it, it's very really interesting to see that. So, uh, I, 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 there's a lot of category for the characters in Gintama. Uh, this is the, this is my opinion. Uh, for Sukuyo, I'm gonna, I think I will categorize her as the, as, uh, the major side characters. Major side characters. Yeah, which means that, yeah, they might be the side characters, but they have a very, uh, they, they were, uh, they, they had a lot of appearances. Oh. I said, as I have said, as I have said, he was in, he was involved in two of the most, in two of the, uh, import, two of the series, and also, two of the series, and, uh, and also, it has to do with the plot, and uh, the arc, the Yoshiwara influence, and this, and the Curtison of Nations arc. So. And you know, she was, he was involved in, not in the sense in, uh, it's not, it's not like she's involved like, like she has a very minor role. But she's very, she's directly involved. He was directly involved. He was directly involved. Yeah, so the for the Yushiwara in Flames arc, he was involved because uh, she was she was first introduced in that arc and also uh, and also she was remember she was the uh, she had a very important role in the in Yoshiwara so it's very obvious that she would get involved in the in the crisis because she was she was the leader of the Hiyaka and another and and Ah oh yeah, she was because it's because she was the leader of the Hyaka. So you can say that it, it was it would be her responsibility to see the see it through the arc to get to get involved. And another thing is uh and, and for this arc she was involved because uh because of Suzuran's. So anyway, so since she so Hyaka is you can say it was the so it's like a police force but for the but only for the Yoshiwara and she's the leader so it's like uh it will be her it will be her that district of Yoshiwara it will be her responsibility to to you know to patrol to take care of the to take care of the peace in Yoshiwara so that's why she was involved in this because Suzuran's so uh, to Sukuyo uh, it's like they have uh, is they they played around with they make fun of uh, Suzuran's feeling you know there's a lot of uh, major side characters a woman they are women and they have a, they like the, the, the major side characters there's a lot of characters women there's, there's a lot of female women female characters that are in the side of major side characters but I think in in all of those in all of those guys将軍様、お待たせしました。デリバリーナンバーワンだよ。形成スズラン、三条捕まつりました。今さら Oh, 
天変に開いて天井を恨む者があろうかいかなる教授に見舞われようとそれは天がなしこと天が定めし宿命ただ黙して受け入れよう天の声を我らが刃を我らこそは天が使いやたがらす天正院ならかおぼろ天正院首領にして奈落最強の教主まさかあの男まで出張っていたなんて裁くは天すなわち将軍裁かれるは血を這う者たちそれが世の断りだそなたらにできるのはただ黙って天を仰ぎ見ることだけだだが嘆くことはない天がもたらすは災いだけではない恵みをもたらすのもまた天だ探していたのだろうその男をジジーヤさん。ケリーつけようじゃねえかなあ戦場のパシリ殿天に抗いし鬼が一匹変わらんなお前のその目は白夜者ててめえは Oh, I have to fight him a little bit. Uh, getting back to what we are talking about, so there's a lot of female characters in the drama that、uh, I would、uh, categorize them as major side characters, but、uh, it's very interesting to see that only like it's like only、uh, Tukuyo was directly involved in the crisis at that time, the situation. Even though she was introduced very late, I think so.、Um, this for the, so, they are these four women. I would say they like have this、uh, as love, they have a、uh, love interest towards Sigi Toki. So, there's four. First, you have、uh, Otai, you have Sachan or Sarutobi Ayame, you have Kyube, and also Sukuyo. So, Sukuyo was the last one to introduce. Between these four, <laughs> and it's very funny to see that she she has the most uh the she has the most appearances in in the uh the most in one in the most in the end in the serious arcs and has something to do with the plot the、uh, usual in frames and also this uh nation scripts. I really find it interesting. It's like like. He has been given a very important role. No. You know, in this arc, Kintoki has been has has gone berserk, just like in the、uh, just like in the Kabukuchos for Devas arc. As in the Oshiwara in the Vast Arc, it's like the Kabukuchos for the Vast Arc. Ya Allah, bagi aku bangun dah dulu. You know, I think that's、uh, that is the reason why I really like Tokyo.
はてそんなものいたかね待て銀時また同じ過ちを繰り返すか白夜叉そこで己の血が腐るまで見ているがいいお前の守ろうとしたものがあの時のように全て壊れてゆく様を逍遥もまた見ていよう己の命を落として守った弟子が何も守ることもできずに無様に壊れてゆく様待ちやがれ待ちやがれてめえらてめえらだけだ今晩はおまわりさんです。Oh. Ooh, finally! Wait, I already, I already unlocked the side story. That's weird. No, I think I'm gonna use the, do the side story first before we get to continue this one. Okay, so um, so as I've said earlier, I really like how 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 Suku how Torachi's uh. How Serajis designed Sukuyos and how her involvement towards the uh, arc the stories. I like said she she was involved in two of the most serious series and also has to do with the plot. I would say, if she were in flames, because it was her first. It was her. It was her. It was her first introduction. It's her first appearance, and because she was. And the criticism of nations because how how they treat how they treat Suzanne bad, badly and she felt the responsible responsibility to to stand up for her something like that and also <laughs> out of all the major side characters the woman the female one I, I Sukuyos was the most uh, have the most direct involvement to India in this kind of arc. Yeah, and also the, in this arc, uh, there was the, uh, there was also the an uh, instances where Gintoki was was going berserk. He, he was enraged of that. But compared to the, just like in the Kabukujo's first step up for the first arc, but compared to that one, uh, doesn't have that a lot impact. But to the Kabukujo's for the first arc between those two. I think the Kabukucho Force for the Vasa will have the more more impact, but for but for the Curses of Nations, it, it has uh, some impact because it still has an impact because of how uh, it was this. I think this was the first time that they really they, they really show a uh, Gintoki's uh, master Oshida Shoyo and how. I don't. I don't really think it's the first time, but I think this, yeah, because it, it it was because uh this arc was tied to Gintoki's past. So uh, yeah, I and I guess that's it for this video. <laughs> Sorry for the commentary. I know I 
even though I talk a lot but I think uh, I think I was focused more on the rambling rather than the uh, than the gameplay. So I apologize for that. Uh, I guess that's it. So I I'll see you guys in the next one. Assalamualaikum. It's been a pleasure.